everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying uh, Oski's no name shrimp. Um, some people call this a craft first shrimp, but um, I've always called it the no name shrimp because the first time I saw it was in Dick Brown's book, and that's what it was listed as in that. But whatever, um, maybe it was named at a later date, I'm not sure. So. As always, there will be a materials list in the description, along with a link to social media um, and a link to my Patreon page where you can go and if you sign up to be a patron there you'll be eligible for future giveaways of fly box, boxes of flies and things. So, the hook I've got here is um, a Gamakatsu SL11 3H, it's a size 2. This is my preferred bone fish fly hook. Um, I much prefer it to like the TM Coos. But use whatever you like. I've got to tie in a pair of medium dumbbell eyes and swing them on the underside of the shank. And then just make sure you get them tied in good and tight. You don't want them moving on you. And then, I mean, this is a fairly simple fly. A lot of Tim Borsky's flies, which, I mean, it's part of the beauty of them. They're, they're simple, but they work. You, know, you don't need to spend hours at the vice on them. So we've got a quite a thick bunch of craft fur here. Just got to, as usual, take away the under fur. And then, Anything that's really long, we'll take out and sort of realign them. Just twist the fibres, roll them back together so they sort of marry. That's no bad there. Check my tail length. That looks okay. Two or three turns will hold that in place. And then I'll come in. Trim the waist, the length of the space up to the back of the, the eyes there. And then I'm just going to run my thread forward, touch and turns, covering everything up, making a nice tidy underbody, and tying that in well. Right, that's nice and secure. Just, I like to sort of stand the craft fur up just a touch. A couple of wraps just underneath it there. So it helps, helps to kick the tail up slightly on this. And I'm going to take some crystal flash. Three or four strands. Take my thread up to in front of the eyes or behind the eyes. tie it down with a crystal flash folded over the thread right. again keeps your body nice and smooth everything's locked in you don't need to be worrying about any bumps or unevenness in the underbody so to colour this tail, I'm going to use a grey marker. I actually like to use two colour, two shades. Um, again, I, I dab on some light grey and quite wide bars. 
I don't even really mind if these kind of run into each other a little. Make sure I'm massing the other side there that the And then we'll come in with a, a darker grey. And I'll just touch the back edge. these uh, wide bands I don't know that it will make any real difference in a fishing situation but it it looks nice I think it gives you quite a nice shrimpy look so for the to finish off the body of the fly I'm going to take a grizzly hackle you can use badger or Cree is also quite nice. Um, but up to you, it's your fly. You could, I mean, you could also tie in a wee hot spot or something here if you liked. So tie the hackle in by the tip, which is wind it forward and fairly close turns. You need quite a long hackle. Sweep the fibres back as you go. As you come up to the front, you start getting into the sort of softer fibres on the on the hackle, which I quite like. I like this at the I like the profile you end up with. When you get in behind the eyes, come across your thread, tie it off, take anything going forward and fold it back. Just tidy that up. And then you can skip your thread to the, the front there. It's a bit strong for breaking that stem, so we'll just trim it away. And then I'll get ready to tie my weed guard. Just take a couple inches of 20 pound hard nylon, fold it in the loop, two or three wraps behind it, two or three wraps in front, pull it down, and you can take another few wraps behind and another few in front of the weed guard. If you want to, you can figure eight through it just to help separate those two strands. Two whip finishes. And then come in and trim the top and sides of the fly. Right, basically, I want to remove any I like to remove any fibers that are sort of sticking out sideways. If they're pointing sort of roughly down, that's fine. It just represent like, the legs of the fly. And you can see the tan thread sort of comes through and with the grizzle hackle and the grey, it kind of matches reasonably well. Trim that. Trim the weed guard to length. It's fine. And then we'll 
come in with some head cement. Just flood around the eyes. There's plenty of thread there to soak that up. And also for a bit of extra durability, what you can do is you can just touch touch the back here and uh, the head cement will cling to the thread. and the hackle stem but it won't run into the hackle fibres on the underside so it'll protect that a wee bit as well so there you go that's Tim, Bo Tim Bosky's Craft First Shrimp use it for bonefish, snooker will eat this uh, I'm sure redfish will eat it I'm sure a lot of species will eat it actually so um, well worth a place in your box simple to tie very few materials tie some up so I uh, hope that was useful hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel tell thanks guys bye